Hey, listen you guys, today we're gonna set up that four color, so that's gonna happen in a couple of minutes. Uh, but before that, I wanna let you guys know that um, David went to AST, which is super, super cool because Tom, the owner of AST, was telling me how uh, thankful he is of me letting you guys know where to get your inks and your chemicals from. So for those who are still looking for a place to get your chemicals from, AST is always linked below for their Instagram. So if you guys ever care to take a look at them, the website's always gonna be underneath as well. So there you guys go. Um, I don't get paid for advertising for them. Tom has helped me way before the beginning. So when I mentioned to him that I wanted to start my shop, he offered me credit because he believed in me. And now this is where we are. And for me to advertise for him, it's just very, very, a very small return. But um, I was driving into work just now and like a block away from here, I saw seven pallets and my dad started collecting pallets. So I called him to see if he can come pick them up. He's tied up with the job that he's doing so he can't and I don't have my truck um, up and running like on the streets. So I'm gonna have to walk over there and pick them up myself and bring them one by one. So that kind of sucks that I put myself in that situation, but it is what it is. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna come in here and hopefully the team is here so we can meet up and, and have our Thursday meeting. I have a lot of exciting things to bring to the table today and you guys are gonna know about them tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Christian said he was also coming. Uh, it was super cool that he came in yesterday because I know that you guys like to see him on the channel every once in a while, so that's pretty dope. So without me talking too much, uh, let me go ahead and get those pallets and we're gonna get started with that four color setup. All right, so I brought the first one and while I was on my way, I remember I have these. So let's bring the rest of them in one of these. Thank you, Dolly. All right, you guys, so before we start setting up, I'm gonna talk to you guys about what's going on here. So we have the black, the pink, the yellow, and the white. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set up with this one because this is the black. We're gonna set up the pink to it. I'm sorry. We're gonna set up the white to it then we're gonna bring in the pink. And then finally, we're gonna bring in that yellow. Now, my friend Jeremiah was doing a two color job yesterday and the way he burned the screens was just like this. So what he did is he grabbed the screen, saw the registration mark and just said, ah, we're gonna go about three fingers, taped it, grabbed the next screen for the second color just kind of guesstimated where he wanted the registration mark at, taped it, and you know, that's not the most accurate way to burn your screens if you're doing multicolor. So the way I do it myself is I bring in the T-square and I burn them all to the same registration mark. Now the purpose of the registration mark is not only for burning the screens to the same height, and I usually do it at five, uh, it's hard to tell, but they're all burned at five inches down to the registration mark. Now, the reason why it's because once you go and set up your base, and for example, or in this case, the black one, and for example, the pink one was burned like just about an inch under the black, then there's gonna be that much of a gap in between the registration marks. So you won't be able to bring your screen down any further than like that much. So to make sense, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up right now and I'm gonna explain to you guys, oh, where are you going? I'm gonna explain to you guys as I go why it is important to burn them all at the same height. Now, can you make it work if it's off by a little bit? Sure you can. But if you wanna make your life way easier, you want them all to be the same. And then also the registration marks, you know, they help the design come together. So once you line those up, your design is gonna come together. So that's really the other purpose of them. It helps you line up the design. I do understand that a lot of people don't like to use the, uh, the registration marks, but 
man, the way we do it, it makes everything much faster. It makes us um, register everything kind of quickly. So the last thing that I'm gonna talk about is the tape that I use once I set up my black. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the black screen. Now with my registration mark. First thing I wanna do before I register it, I wanna make sure that my frame is right under this bar so that we know it's gonna be locked down nice and tightly and it's not gonna be halfway out or too far in. Sometimes the problem with putting it too far in is when you lock it down, it tends to come up a little bit. And when you put it too far out, as you tighten it, you can move the screen and it'll like move out of place. Or even when you're moving your screens around the machine, you can shift it just a little bit. So we wanna make sure we have a firm grip, first of all. Then the second thing we're gonna do is bring our T-square to the registration mark. It's hard to show you guys, but I'm gonna try my best. So there we go. We got the registration mark right at the T-square and we have a firm grip on the back. So let's go ahead and line it up. Make sure it's nice and straight and also centered. Okay, so here we go. We're about to tighten this down. And what I like to do, once I know my T-square is where I want it, I can bring the screen out, put it back in. It doesn't matter because we know that that registration mark, it's already lined up with our T-square. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure it's nice and straight and centered. So once it's centered and straight, I like to hold down the screen with one hand and I like to tighten one side at a time. So nice and tight. And then I do both of them at the same time. So sometimes some designs help you out, figure out if you have like a really straight line or not. Others, it's kind of hard to tell. But with this one, for example, right here, we have our registration mark in the center, which is seven and a half in my case. And then also we have this straight line going under the Cupid's feet. So what we can do is bring it down our registration mark and just double check to make sure that that line is nice and straight. So that's just to kind of double check and make sure that everything is lined up with your design. Once you got that ready, we're gonna go ahead and tape the screen, throw some ink in there and print the Pellon sheet to throw the tape on top of it and then set up the rest of the color. So we don't want any ink running down the sides because there's no emulsion and we have a small image for this black. So we're gonna use a six inch squeegee, which means that the ink is not gonna go this far out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape the sides. And I'm gonna tape the bottom. A lot of people say that I like to waste a lot of tape doing this, but when I peel out my tape, I'm not left with ink stuck inside the image that's on the back side. So when I go to reclaim it, it makes my life a lot easier. All right, so now that it's taped, we're gonna go ahead and print the sample. And for this, I'm gonna use a white Pellon sheet and what I like to do is I like to lay the Pellon sheet on top of my board. Then I spray my board. Then after I spray the Pellon, I simply flip it upside down and bring it up to the edge of the board. All right. Now that we have our print, we're gonna go ahead and tape it up. So now that it's taped up, let me go ahead and bring in the first color, which is gonna be the pink and we're gonna line this up. So now watch, because everything was lined up when I burned the screen at five inches down to the registration mark, check it out. I'm just gonna bring the registration mark up to the black one and just look where the frame is at the back. It's right under the bar. And that is the way it's gonna be for all of them because we burned them all to the same distance. So therefore, we're gonna have a firm grip on all four screens 
and that just takes away any chance of your screen moving or shifting just a little bit while you're running the shirts so that you won't have any off registration problems once you start printing. So let me go ahead and line this up, make sure that everything is um, locked into place. We're gonna tie it down, run some ink, and if for some reason it's off a little bit, we simply run a rag over that tape and just line it up again until we di dial it in. Okay, that to me looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and line up the next color, which is gonna be the white. And then we're gonna end up with the yellow that goes inside of the letters. Alright, so we just lined all of them up and it's perfect timing because the guys are here to start the meeting. Uh, once we're done, I'm going to come back and keep going with that four color print. Yo. Boss man is here. Alright you guys, the meeting went well. Now we're back to setting up this four color. Now let me show you guys what's going on here. I taped up all the screens. I got ink on the squeegees and we're ready to make sure and see if everything is nicely lined up. That looks great. So check this out. I'm going to run a piece of tape over the white just so I don't have to um, flash the panel on because if I do it's going to shrink it and it's going to give me a false reading on the rest of the colors and this way all the colors come together without having to print wet on wet on anything so next color that I'm going to do for this design is going to be the pink and the reason why it's because the yellow lines up to the pink inside of the letters and once we tape that up and we bring the yellow we're going to make sure that everything is lined up before we print it All right, now let's tape over the pink. So the last thing we're gonna do is make sure that the yellow lines up inside of the pink because we already know that the pink is lining up with the black down here. So, that looks uh, looks like it's off just a hair. All right, so now that we have the yellow lined up to the pink, we're gonna drop that yellow on top. See how it looks. And if we like it, that looks pretty good. So there you go. So there it is, you guys. That is how I set up a four color design. I was glad that some of the colors lined up with the black and not with the rest of them like the ones up here 
So the way I did it is I printed the black to line up that white and pink. Once I had that pink lined up with the black, I used that to line up the yellow. So everything looks good on there. We're gonna go ahead and tape off the registration marks, send the picture to the customer, get it approved, and get them going because they're due today. And we also have the ones from 19th Avenue that are due today. Not a problem. And uh, I think that's it. Just to let, let you guys know, today's meeting went very well. I'm super happy Tom was here. We discussed the plans for next month, which I will be letting you guys know what it is tomorrow. And that's it. I hope this was helpful. If I missed anything, if you guys have any questions, uh, please feel free to comment. Christian still hasn't showed up. He said he was. Uh, Jeremiah's on his way, and so is Ceci and possibly Brian. So... Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Share the video if you think it's going to help a friend. And if not, then whatever. Just keep watching them.